Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a brand new game for you. This is Smite Blitz. Now, yes, this has been out for uh, a few weeks now. It's been out in soft launch for a few months, but just recently became available globally. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this game and to give you a few thoughts that I have on it. I've got some, uh, uh, some interesting thoughts, I think, on this. But first, before we jump into this, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, the hero games, the gotcha games, the games we all love to play, and you know what, a few that fall outside of that realm, then consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So this is Smite Blitz. I don't know. Um, I know that Smite is a pretty popular game overall. I know that uh, my kids, my daughter used to play it quite a bit on the Xbox. But uh, I know that through taking a look at this one here and the character models and stuff, we'll just take a look at the character models. I know that some people have had some concerns about true representation of these character models overall. So let's go ahead and jump into here. We'll take a look at Athena. So that's Athena. I know that some of these models are quite a bit different than what they are in like the Xbox game and stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and take a look at these character models here. Then we're going to go ahead and jump into combat. This game does do a few different things when it comes to a hero collector game, which is kind of cool. I do like that. Uh, but one of the concerns that I have on this one here, and I'll just tap through some of these these characters as i'm explaining this i like some of the intro whenever you switch to that for the, the character for the first time there's a little bit of an animation so there's hercules but one of the concerns i have is this game now has been out for a few weeks i think overall maybe four weeks in global launch and typically when you see a game that comes out globally within that first month you usually will see an update to that game because Typically, there is a slate of updates that is uh, ready once that game is launched or close to being ready so that you can, in the very beginning of a game, you do see regular updates. Regular updates more so than when the game has been out for a little while, and they tend to space those updates out a little bit more. But in, that, in the first few months, I think it's very important to see those regular updates so you know that the developers are continually working on on the game now for this one here it's been out for a few weeks i've not seen a new update for this also being four weeks on at least in the apple store there's only 2,000 reviews on this now the reviews typically for games you, the the total number of players that actually give feedback on a game is very small compared to the total population of players of a game but still only 2,000 reviews in four weeks. Now I've seen some games that have been much worse. Here's what, Zong Kui. See, some of these characters are pretty cool. I mean, the character models I think are fine. If you're a, if you're a true Smite fan, you might have some, consi some uh, concerns about some of the character models. But, um, but overall, I think they're pretty cool. We're not gonna go through all of them. Just wanted to show a few of them here. Here's Loki. Doesn't look anything like the Loki we know. <laughs> or at least the Loki from Avengers, right? The Marvel Universe. The horns and stuff like that. Sun Wukong. He looks pretty cool. You can spin him. But anyway, so like I was saying, as far as this game goes, uh, it is... I'm... But... Okay, so I do have a concern with that updates have not come out for it yet, and it's been out for a month. However, with the holidays and everything, I am I will give it a little bit of leeway. If we go into January, February, and there still isn't an update, then I will have some, some major concerns about this game. There's Zeus. Alright, so there's some characters there. There's Ares, God of War. Let's go back. We can just, you can, as you can see, we got down to Zeus and Ares there, but there's quite a bit more. For characters. There's Hades. I 
Not too bad. I think the artwork's okay. All right, let's go back out. Let's show some combat. There's a lot to this screen. So your typical hero collector game, you're going to have your stores and things like that. You're going to have your opportunities to uh, to level up your your different characters, gear them up. But let's go ahead and see what combat looks like. Go ahead and up here. As you can see, I'm still fairly early in the game. When you go in here, it does tell you how you can three-star your mission. So all enemies eliminated, less than two gods dead, and no gods dead. So as long as we can do that, we should be able to do that. You see what kind of rewards and everything that you can get in this game. Now, this this is something that I, I thought was pretty interesting. You can move your characters around and move and, and just create different formations, whatever might work best for you. So I'm going to actually do this right here and uh, see how that works out for me. All right, so here we go. Now, uh, similar to some other games, it is real time. It is not turn-based. And then you have these, man, what do they call these again? See, I like that guy in the back. He's my caster. Um, what are the telegraphs? Are they called telegraphs? I can't remember. But it tells you where where you are going to be attacking, right? You can So you can aim. And all you're doing is sliding your skills up from the from the bottom there and positioning it where you want to attack and that's pretty much it victory there should have three starred it so now what we're level eight tap to continue obelisk secret waypoint of the egyptian gods if it's broken or damaged the souls of the underworld will be able to break this realm and overrun it i know i gave her a, a male voice whatever <laughs> and then let's make sure it doesn't happen so divine calls is now available receive your daily quest see look at it. i haven't i haven't gone too far into this game but we got some daily quests here just like anything else all your hero collector games are very similar right they've all pretty much got the exact same mechanics you got your daily logins you've got ways to upgrade your characters they do do things a little bit differently when it comes to combat like this one here where you can change your formations up and 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 everything let's go ahead let's show uh let's jump into here so let's see objective protected keep the target at over 50 percent health and then no god's dead so we're going to defeat that god right there right boss defeated i think i'm i think i like this Actually, I'm going to move him over here and put these guys up here. All right, so I think I like my positioning there. I do have four heroes, but I can only place three right now. So that is what I'm going to keep. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right. Now, the artwork and everything is okay, in my opinion. It's nothing absolutely fantastic. But... All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's okay. So we're supposed to protect this obelisk. Let's go ahead and do that. She should. Oh, I got some people behind me. Um. Hello. Here we go. We got to try and keep that obelisk at fifty percent or more. We're at eighty-seven percent right now. So, um, there we go. And the cool thing is, too, uh, uh, something else that this game does a little bit differently. In your traditional Hero Collector games, it is a turn-based type game, and it goes by speed. For, from what I can see right now, there's not a whole lot that it that is speed that uh, that is specific to speed because I don't have to always go in the same order as far as attacking. I gotta get rid of that guy. Where am I at? I'm at 79%. I gotta get that guy, that guy there taken care of. Come on, I'm at 76%. Let's get this uh, trebuchet taken care of. And we should have three-starred that one. Athena did not expect to find Egypt, 
Egypt in turmoil. Temples lie abandoned and sacred waypoints are attacked. Well, you could go back and pause that and read that. I can't. All right, so we got our next area that has been unlocked here. New chapter. House of Power has rejuvenated me. No signs of raw star augments. Crystals to significantly boost the party's power. We're going to go into augments right now. And then activate. So these are constellations, which is pretty cool. Let's see. We've got one. We've got 600,000. Let's go ahead and get that defense up. You can see over there on the left-hand side. So we got HP up 620. Got physical defense up by 16. How many points? I've got two more that I can use for this. I'm going to save that for right now. So I don't know what I'm uh, what I'm going to want to use that on later. Jump into here. Received a reward for each chapter. Let's jump into that. So this is what we get. Got some skill stones. And then we go into another battle. So that's pretty much it. So that is Smite Blitz for you. Your typical hero collector game. You're collecting your heroes. You're building things up. Um, very interesting in my opinion as far as being able to select your formation and move people around a little bit. I'd be interested to know where where um, this game takes us a little bit later on. But again, I do have a little bit of concern. It's been about four weeks since this game has been out and there hasn't been an update. At least when you go back to the Apple Store and you take a look in there, there hasn't been an update in the last month. So very curious, the direction of this game and the popularity of this game. If you are playing this game, definitely let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think it's uh, do you think it's a contender for the other Hero Collector games that we have out there? Because there is a ton. And as we're seeing more and more, there are more and more of these games coming out as far as this specific type of format, this, this turn-based RPG type format. There, it's just it's flooding the market. There's so many out there, and plus there's a bunch on soft launch. There's a few in soft launch that I'm playing. If you've not seen them yet, I'll go ahead and make some links over here to Disney Sources Arena, Legos Legacy Heroes Unboxed. Those are some of the newer ones that are in soft launch that is coming out in 2020, and uh, very interested to know what you guys again think of this game when it comes to your hero collector genre. All right, everybody, that's what I had to show you today. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.